the Wormtooth project, I often feel like I am not at the level that I need to be to do the things I want to do. And so I kind of, especially for this project, which is about imposter syndrome, felt I had to push that. Right? Like, uh, I can't do an opera. I shouldn't do an opera, you know? And then it's like, yeah, well, like... <laughs> then I should. Like, if I fail, it proves my point about imposter syndrome at the very least, you know? Um, yeah, so so on any level, you're you're getting some kind of answer out of it, right? If you if right. you do it and it's great, like, oh, like, of course I could have done an opera because, like, why couldn't I do that if I decide right. to go in this direction with this project that has a lot of layers already? Why not add a couple more, right? And then if right. it if it's a, you know, flaming disaster, then it's like, oh, well, of course it was going to be a disaster. Why did I think I could write an opera, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've we've all been there. I mean, uh, you know, creatives have kind of all been there. Like, yeah, why can't I do, uh, why can't I make a concept album all by myself right. over 14 years? Why can't I do that? Well, not by myself, right. but, uh, you know, why, why can't I do that? Yeah, all right, right, great. Or like, why can't I do this podcast for, you know, seven or eight years and then just keep doing it when no one hears it? Why can't I? Why can't I ask you, Alvaro, why can't I do that? There is no reason. <laughs> Which is why this still exists. Right. And honestly, though, I think that it's a, I think it's not even just, like, the podcast is a really great example. Uh, and I wonder if you get this ever. As someone who has made so many episodes, I'm sure you still sometimes have moments where you're like, ugh, I'm not going to be able to do this one. Yeah. Like, even though you clearly can, you've done all of these before. Yep. But, like, there are times where I listen to old songs I've done, and then I go to try to write, and I'm like, well, I'm never going to write something as good as that guy did. Like, and it's not like I, <laughs> it's not like I'm actively saying that because I know it sounds dumb. Like, that is me. But it doesn't feel like you anymore sometimes like sometimes yeah. it feels like well i could write that before because x y and z but now i couldn't you know like yeah could i still like like wow i did a really good job of like these episodes that got a lot of people talking and people were kind of engaged with all this stuff i can't do that again can i like that's a different guy right, right there like now i'm this right. guy you know i'm you know mr new dad guy over here now i'm just my brain is fried. I can't keep doing this. And then, right. you know, here I am. My, the kids won. And here I am still kind of doing maybe some of my best work, if I can say that for myself, which I hate doing. But um, good. Yeah. I, I'm you still, should, though. You like, know, that's like. I know I should. Thank you. Uh, yeah. It's just like sometimes the, I feel like the show now to talk about me for a minute or two. Sure. Um, please. Has really hit kind of a, a nice groove in the last I don't know, four months or so. Mm -hmm. And I don't really know what to attribute that to. I think like someone said, I, I had a band on Ruby bones is the name of the band. They're fantastic. Okay. They're from New Jersey. And one of them, I had them on maybe, I think the episode dropped like three weeks before my son was born. Um, I'll put it in the show notes if you want to hear it. So it, it was suggested like, Hey, why don't you put the song? Like when you have a song featured, why don't you put that first and then do the rest of the show? So someone coming in to listen to the artist can hear that right away. I'm like, all right, no one's ever asked me, like no one's ever said that to me before, but I'm going to try it. So I started doing it and the show has really kind of, I feel like that's really helped me with the flow of the program since I started doing that. I'm like, that sounds pretty great. Why don't I do this all, the whole time? Like, this is great. And it's just right. like weird little tweaks like that, that I made just on a suggestion from someone who's like, yeah, I'll try it. And it really has worked out. So thank you to Chris from Ruby Bones. Cool name. Very cool name. Yeah. 